every part of the human anatomy has a significant function to the well-being of humans. But when either of the parts malfunctions and not timely checked, it could lead to serious health problems of different kinds, just like dreadful terminal disease, cancer. Cells that used to have control, cells that used to be regulated, lose control via so many routes or pathways. But when you hear cancer of any part of the body, it only means that those cells have refused to be regulated. That is what cancer means. Breast cancer is prevalent amongst the female gender. When we are saying that we are having about 46,000 deaths from a particular cause in a year, 46,000, that's somebody's mother, somebody's wife, somebody's daughter, somebody's sister, somebody's friend. We are having 46,000 deaths in a year just from breast cancer. Only those with any kind of cancer would know the pain of being diagnosed of one, especially when it's discovered late. From the damage done during chemotherapy to surgery, the silent killer is better prevented than treated. Unregulated growth of cells in the breast, that is breast cancer. When cells in the breast begin to grow in an unregulated or haphazard manner, they multiply severally beyond the breast. Sometimes they go towards the shoulder. Then sometimes those excessive cells, they will now leave the breast and go to other parts of the body and continue to grow abnormally. When breast cancer becomes a bit complicated, you have what we call metastasis. When you see an individual with cancer, it is the manifestation of those spread or the manifestation of the presence of an excessively growing cell either in the breast or outside the breast as a measure to sensitize women on the preventive steps required of every woman against cancer women rights and child abuse project a community-based non-governmental organization gathered women from different communities in the solo local cancer development area for health awareness program with the topic breast cancer awareness a must for every woman through slides dr nimo talai bikunle explicates causes of cancer how to detect one and preventive measures against cancer if you check your breast and you notice that skin around my breast is smooth and beautiful then someday, you now go to check again during your examination, you now see that a part is getting red, or a part is getting rough, or a part is getting dimpled. We call it pulled orange. That is an orange appearance on your breast. If you see that kind of appearance, it's a need for you to go to the hospital. If for any reason one breast is getting significantly bigger than the other, you need to at least be checked. Go to the hospital and let them tell you that there is no problem. If you're having any form of discharge that is making you concerned too, it's a reason to go to the hospital. When do we check our breast? It is encouraged to check your breast as soon as you finish your menstruation. Why after your menstruation? Because during your menstruation, your breast is lumpy and full. Some people during ovulation, that is during mid-cycle. So the only time when you can have a relatively unfull breast is immediately you finish menstruating so that is when it is encouraged to actually stand in front of the mirror and check your breast let's try to eat healthy avoiding alcohol avoiding smoking cultivate the habit of taking water let's try to make our health a priority in as much as you want to try to be full and robust let's remember that obesity has its own risk we tend to attach either culture or religion to many things that is what is prevalent amongst us or we go to our imams and pastors and tell them to come and start praying for us because these people too are not aware because if you go to a cleric that is aware while you are praying you seek medical help as part of the health awareness program free medical checkups were done basically the test we are doing today we start from their blood pressure after measuring their blood pressure we're doing their bmi bmi is body mass index it has the weight and the height. So we are checking, is your height appropriate for your weight? 
and with that we can come to the conclusion of a, an healthy person overweight, obese, or morbidly obese. So by so doing, the next stage, they go to the doctors with their results. The doctor cannot advise them appropriately. Then if the patient has complaints or whatever they've noticed, it's easier for them to be analyzed. Then we're doing their glucose check to know the blood sugar level so that we can advise appropriately, okay, this person is within the LD range, this person has pre-diabetes or this person has diabetes. It's costing them nothing, it's free. This is part of the program. Part of the breast cancer awareness is an health checkup for the attendees. I have issue with my BP and when I go there to check it, so they tell me that it is I. So the doctor actually advised me to go and sit down for 30 minutes and come back. So after checking, after the 30 minutes, she said, I'm a little bit hypertensive, that she placed me on drug, and she advised me not to stop the drug. Because what I've been doing before is, when I use drug and it goes down, I'll stop. So what she told me today is, Any anybody that is hypertensive is hypertensive. That when it goes down, I shouldn't stop. I can only reduce the number of drugs that I use, which I don't know before. So this is the first time I'm hearing that. So I've benefited a lot. This breast cancer is a deadly disease. And has already been taught that it is the most common disease that kills women especially. And we can also avoid it if we have self-examination and awareness as well. If we detect it early, we will be able to cure it. There is a comment that is free of breast cancer. The community will be all right. And as we know, there will be, there will be a limit to death that are caused by breast cancer in our community. I'm happy that one of the attendees at today's program have actually learned a lot, especially the principal disclosing factors to having breast cancer. And I've actually made up my mind that with what I've learned so far, I'm going to put it into practice. I'm going to prevent my people around me. I'm going to spread the good news around so that we will have a society that will be free of breast cancer. It's actually an, a very good effort they have put forward and we expect them to do more of this sensitization. It shouldn't just be a yearly thing. It should be taken into the more core areas of the state so that more people can benefit from this. I don't know the time that I can check my breast because the lecturer said, when you finish your menstruation, you can check your breast. But for our menopause, I don't smoke. So I now ask her question. And she said, anybody that attained menopause age, can check the breast anytime. So, like our children, they don't know what is cancer is. They, they just see that their breast is uh, lumpy. They will just say, eh, uh, my breast is full. Our breast is our pride. But if you don't have big breast, they will say, oh, look at this one. It's not fine. It's not this. And it might be a sickness that they don't know. So, by coming to this place today, I will go home and lighten my local government my children, my grandchildren. According to the president, Mrs. Falsias Ailiru, the program is to show their concern and unflinching support to the well-being of women. We want people to actually know what cancer is, what prompts it, what are the manifestations, especially to our local women. You know all these religious, religious, religious acts, there is so much belief in prayers, fasting. But when it comes to medical aspect, we want our members to know as well that though you can pray, you can fast. But when it comes to medical aspect, you take it to who can handle it better. We want to create more awareness about breast cancer. That is why we are organizing this program. They however urge philanthropists within communities, non-governmental organizations, and the government to intensify efforts to help reduce the rate of cancer in women to the barest minimum through preventive measures, as prevention is better, cheaper, and life-saving than kill. Whatever money or whatever resources we have, we should use it to enhance something good in our community. Like this all we have, a philanthropist sponsored it. If that is part of what we want from the philanthropist, so that the good work will continue. People will benefit from it, like someone that they check out their BP here and it is really on the, on the high side. It's part of what we want people to do. When they invest in the NGOs, 
people that are calling for good in the community, it will really assist us. It will make the work to be simple because there is nothing we can do without money. And we cannot just be knocking on everybody's door. When people are ready to pledge their resources for us, we have a lot of programs in the pipeline to relieve our community, to make women live fine. The widows, the orphans, sexually abused, domestic violence, these are our programs. But without money, we can't implement this. So we want the philanthropists to come to our head and sponsor us so that we'll be able to do more of this to our community. We want the government to make more programs and more policies that are women friendly. Awareness like this is a primary prevention, it's a means to pick the diseases early. Even amongst women who don't have the disease, it's a, it's a means to enlighten them about signs and symptoms of the disease. So I would encourage individuals, non-governmental organizations, and even the government to organize more programs like this at grassroots level to um, enlighten the public about diseases that are of public health importance. Women out there would try to plead that you should know your body. It's not everybody that knows that they have cancer. So you have to be at alert, you have to be on the lookout, check your breasts regularly. When you have concerns, go to the right person for advice. Then when you are not sure, go to the hospital. When they tell you that it is offer or it is somebody doing you from somewhere, please try to go to the hospital and get your doctor's advice. Your doctor can never or most times will not be wrong.